We begin with the latest in the deadly school shooting. A former Broward Sheriff's deputy is sharing his side of the story after coming under fire for his actions as the attack happened at Stoneman Douglas. Sheriff Scott Israel says Scott Peterson never went in to try and stop the shooter. And this morning, Peterson remains in hiding, but he has plenty he wants you to hear. CBS 4's Rial Creighton is live at the school in Parkland with that story. Rial? Well, former BSO deputy school resource officer here at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, Scott Peterson, had faced withering criticism for not going into the building during that shooting rampage to confront the confessed killer, Nicholas Cruz. Well, now, via his attorney, we're finally hearing his version of events. He wasn't a brave guy under pressure. He choked. President Donald Trump took another swipe at armed BSO school resource deputy Scott Peterson for failing to go inside the freshman building at Stoneman Douglas to confront confessed killer Nicholas Cruz. On Monday, Peterson gave his first version of events through a letter from his attorney. The letter says Peterson initially received a call of firecrackers and not gunfire, and that he believed those gunshots were originating from outside, not inside the school. The letter also says, consistent with his training, Mr. Peterson took up a tactical position and that a radio call about a possible victim by the football field served to confirm Mr. Peterson's belief that the shooter or shooters were outside. But many continue to question Peterson's actions, saying with dozens and dozens of rounds being fired, it's difficult to believe the veteran deputy did not know where the shots were coming from. Jeff Bell is president of the union for Broward Sheriff's deputies. With that information, you know where those rounds are being fired from. You better get your butt inside that building because it doesn't matter if you engage that shooter and you actually kill the shooter. There are plenty of circumstances and past scenarios where shooters have simply just given up because they saw a uniformed police officer making entry. Instead, 17 students, teachers, and staff lay dead. 14 others were wounded. There have also been questions about whether or not BSO had a policy not to go into an active shooter situation until a SWAT team arrived. Sheriff Scott Israel said the training is to confront an active shooter. John Rivera is the former longtime president of the Police Benevolent Association in Miami-Dade. He said he's not aware of if BSO had such a policy, but says in a situation like this shooting, it could have been understandably disobeyed. Uh, even if we had a policy not to go in, I think, uh, given the circumstances and hearing the children, uh, I think we would have rushed in even if we violated policy. Well, CBS 4 News talked to several former federal prosecutors, law enforcement agents, and they tell us that it would be a stretch for Peterson to be charged with any crime for his failure to act. We're live in Parkland, Riel Creighton, CBS 4 This Morning.